Hello, and thanks for your interest in Poetry Out Loud. This presentation will share what Poetry Out Loud is all about and how you and your students can get involved. Let's start with an example of this program in action. Here is an excerpt of Langston Ward from Mead High School reciting Chicago by Carl Sandburg from the 2012 State Final. Chicago by Carl Sandburg. Hog butcher for the world. Tool maker. Stacker of wheat. Player with railroads and the nation's freight handler. Stormy. Husky. Brawling. City of the big shoulders. They tell me you are wicked. And I believe it. For I have seen your painted women under the gas lamps luring the farm boys. And they tell me you are crooked. And I answer yes. While not all student recitations start out as strong as Langston, an exceptional student who went on to win the Poetry Out Loud National Final in 2013, we hope this presentation will show you what's possible and how Poetry Out Loud can support student learning in a variety of ways. We'll provide the basic information of how the program works, and we encourage you to follow up with us at the Washington State Arts Commission with any questions. Poetry Out Loud encourages high school students to learn about great poetry through memorization and performance. This program helps students master public speaking skills, build self-confidence, and explore literature from different cultures and time periods. It can transform how students understand and engage with poetry. For high school teachers, whether you're working with students who struggle with traditional academics or students who sail through AP English, this program offers a dynamic way to get students personally invested in a piece of literature. We'll share information about the national program and the Washington State specifics, but first, let's hear what students themselves have to say about what Poetry Out Loud means to them. These students were among the 13 regional champions who recited at the 2018 state final. The reason why Poetry Out Loud is um, so important to me is because sometimes you don't really know how to explain how you feel, but poetry is emotions on paper and you can, you can read what someone else has written and understand that that's something you connect with because you know, we don't always have the best words at the time, but other people can, and um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's been so meaningful to me because I'm able to express myself in a way that I would not be able to do on my own. Uh, poetry Out Loud, honestly, this started as a requirement in my English class, and it very quickly became so much more. This program has helped me remember how much I love poetry. The high school atten I attend is very sports-oriented, so finally attending an event that's arts oriented which is more something i'm comfortable with is like it's really changed my perspective on a lot of things and uh, poetry out loud has just overall helped me realize that just a few words put in the correct order can not only impact how you feel but it can change your entire perspective upon life if you'd like to hear more from this student question and answer session it's available through our website, along with other selections from previous Washington State Finals. State Finals, like ours, happen across the country as part of this national program, which has been going on since 2005 as a joint program of the National Endowment for the Arts and the Poetry Foundation. The National Endowment for the Arts is an independent agency of the federal government. The NEA provides funding to support artistic excellence, creativity, and innovation for the benefit of individuals and communities in every state in the nation. The Poetry Foundation, Publishers of Poetry Magazine, is an independent literary organization committed to a vigorous presence for poetry in our culture. At the state level, Poetry Out Loud is produced and managed by the Washington State Arts Commission, also known as ArtsWA. ArtsWA is a state agency established in 1961. Our mission is to work as a catalyst for the arts, advancing the role of the arts in the lives of individuals and communities throughout the state. Major program areas include 
art in public places, art in education, grants to organizations, and creative districts. We encourage you to visit our website and learn more about our work. Here's the NEA's basic definition for this program. Poetry Out Loud is a national arts education program that encourages the study of great poetry by offering educational materials and a dynamic recitation competition to high school students across the country. In Washington State, any school serving students in grades 9 through 12 may register to participate in the state program. The program's intentions include helping students connect with classic and contemporary poetry and gain exposure to different literary voices, develop their interest in reading and expand their literary knowledge, and develop life skills such as poise and public speaking. Poetry Out Loud accomplishes this by providing students the opportunity to engage in a hands-on learning approach. For both students and teachers, standing up and speaking the words of a poem, rather than silently reading the words on the page, offers a richer opportunity to connect to meaning and to explore self-expression. These things all help teachers see different students excel in different ways. There are lots of resources to support teachers' use of Poetry Out Loud. The national website is updated and improved every year, and everything you need to implement the program is available there, online, and free. The National Poetry Out Loud website can be found at www.poetryoutloud.org. The site is full of useful resources. The online anthology of over 900 poems, teacher's guide, audio and video clips, lesson plans, judge's guide, and tips on hosting a school contest. In addition to information on competitions, the National website also offers resources that will support specific lesson plans, including tone maps, activities in phrasing and emphasis, methods of memorization, voice visualization, and more. Also, the Arts Commission website includes local resources, such as video clips from our recent state finals. Poetry Out Loud is well aligned with state standards in English language arts, as well as many theater standards. There is flexibility on how you implement Poetry Out Loud in your classroom. While two to three weeks is suggested, some teachers spread the program out over a longer period of time, and others have developed a compressed implementation plan. Every participating teacher in every school that registers for Poetry Out Loud will receive a printed copy of the Teacher's Guide. A PDF of the guide is also available on the Poetry Out Loud national website under the Teaching Resources tab. In addition to the great resources to support classroom instruction, the Teacher's Guide also includes the rules about student eligibility and poem eligibility, guidelines for running a school competition, and more. Teachers participating in this program will want to review this guide carefully. Throughout all levels of the program, student recitations have the same evaluation criteria. Physical presence, voice and articulation, dramatic appropriateness, evidence of understanding, and overall performance. The Teacher's Guide provides specific guidance on each of these criteria points. Consider these criteria as you watch another short clip of Langston Ward. Bearhead. Shovel. Wrecking. Planning. Building. Breaking. Rebuilding. Under the smoke, dust all over his mouth, laughing with white teeth. Under the terrible burden of destiny, laughing as a young man laughs. Laughing even as an ignorant fighter laughs who has never lost a battle. Bragging and laughing that under his wrist is the pulse. And under his ribs, the heart of the people. Laughing, laughing the stormy, husky, brawling laughter of youth. Half naked, sweating, proud to be hog butcher, tool maker, stacker of wheat, player with railroads, and freight handler to the nation. 
In addition to the criteria shared in the previous section, accuracy is a final and important part of the evaluation score. Students must recite their selected poems exactly as written by the poet. The teacher's guide provides detailed guidelines for how an accuracy judge should score each recitation. Schools find Poetry Out Loud contributes to their overall positive visibility and community building. Poetry Out Loud celebrates excellence in something other than sports and can engage school staff in addition to classroom teachers. As an example, perhaps, a principal serves as an MC for a school final, or perhaps the gym teacher or office staff have an interest in poetry and serve as competition judges or other support staff. All kinds of students are successful in this program. The online anthology of classic and contemporary poems is diverse, and students generally find something that they can connect with. This program works well for all levels of learners, high achievers, as well as students who don't always do as well by traditional measures. Here's an excerpt of Elizabeth Moe, a senior at Kamiakin High School in 2014 when she became the Washington State Champion, reciting Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold. The sea is calm tonight. The tide is full. The moon lies fair upon the straits. On the French coast, the light gleams and is gone. The cliffs of England stand, glimmering and vast, out in the tranquil bay. Come to the window. Sweet is the night air. Only from the long line of spray, where the sea meets the moon-blanched land, listen. You hear the grating roar of pebbles, which the waves draw back and fling at their return up the high strand, begin and cease, and then again begin with tremulous cadence slow, and bring the eternal note of sadness in. Poetry Out Loud is structured like a spelling bee, with students moving up the ladder toward the national finals, which will include one student from every state. After working at the classroom level, teachers hold classroom competitions, which lead to school finals, which lead to regional finals, and then to state. While we like to focus on the educational benefit for all students who participate at the classroom level, those students who advance to the state and national finals have the opportunity to compete for some prizes. Each state champion receives $200 and an all-expense-paid trip for themselves and a chaperone to the national finals in Washington, D.C. The first runner-up in each state receives $100, and the schools of these students benefit as well, receiving stipends of $500 and $200 respectively for the purchase of poetry books. And there are bigger prizes for the top nine students in the national competition, including $20,000 for the national champion. The Washington State Arts Commission oversees the entire state program. Arts Wa Poetry Out Loud staff include Tamar Krames, Arts and Education Manager, and Judy Cullen, Poetry Out Loud Program Coordinator. They work with regional partners all across the state, who support teachers in their region and produce the regional finals. In 2019, 65 high schools participated, coming from 20 of the 39 counties in Washington State. Here's a timeline for Poetry Out Loud in the 2019-20 school year. The registration deadline is November 8th. All registration is online. Schools must be registered in order to be part of the official state program. Schools don't need to wait for this program to dig in. Classroom level work on Poetry Out Loud can start just as soon as you register. The registration form will ask for the designation of a lead teacher who will manage the school level program. Individual schools may coordinate the implementation of the program and the planning of the school final as best suits them. But one teacher must act as the point of contact for the regional and state coordinators. Schools must have their school level finals no later than January 17th and work backwards from there, planning time for classroom finals. We recommend you have your school level finals much earlier, before the December holiday break, if possible. 
we found that many things can cause schedule changes in January, including semester transitions and snow closures. Just something to keep in mind. Consider giving yourself a time cushion. Regional finals happen at the end of January or beginning of February. Each region holds its own final competition on a different day. The state final will be held in early March in downtown Tacoma. Let's enjoy one final student recitation before we wrap up this video information session. Here is Jake Andrews, who was a senior at Ellensburg High School when he became the 2016 state champion reciting Very Large Moth by Craig Arnold. Very Large Moth by Craig Arnold after DHL. Your first thought when the light snaps on and the black wings clatter about the kitchen is a bat. The clear part of your mind considers rabies. The other part does not consider. Knows only to startle and cower away from the slap of its wings. Though it is soon clearly not a bat, but a moth and harmless. Still you are shy of it. It clings to the hood of the stove, not black, but brown. Its orange eyes sparkle like televisions, its leg joints large enough to count. How could you kill it? Where would you hide the body? <laughs> a creature so solid must have room for a soul, and if this is so, why not in a creature half its size, or half its size again, and so on down to the ants. Clearly it must be saved. Caught in a shopping bag and rushed to the front door, afraid to crush it, feeling the plastic rattle, loosened into the night air, it batters the porch light, throwing fitful shadows around the landing. That was a really big moth, is all you can say to the doorman who has watched your whole performance with a smile. The half compassion and half horror we feel for the creatures, we want not to hurt, and prefer not to touch. What do you need to do to get your school involved in Poetry Out Loud? Visit the Arts Wall website and look for Poetry Out Loud under the Arts and Education tab. Many of your questions can be answered there, and the resources page links to many of the essential resources for this program. Then, after you talk with your colleagues and confirm which teachers and classes will participate, Follow the link on the registration page and fill out and submit your online registration form. If you have any additional questions, please contact the Arts WA staff. Thank you for your interest in Poetry Out Loud. <laughs>